Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I have some big money bolos coming your way. This is a Facebook member share. Um, I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Fantastic way to learn. And these are the best bolos of March. So what I did is I posted this screenshot in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, and I invited members to share their best March bolo. So really great stuff. Great thing about this is you know the item sold, you know that it was a good sale, and we're gonna learn. You ready to learn? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. I am going to be looking at my computer to read them off. I will pop up screen shares of each item here. This is going to help you learn and help me learn. So the first item, bought it for a dollar at a consignment shop where I also sell stuff. Had it listed for 119 I think, and took a best offer of $90. So let me zoom in here so I can really see what this says. Polly Pocket New Old Stock Rare Vintage Polyville Card Game. It's a card game. So if you don't know, Polly Pocket, Bluebird, look those up if you find them. I found this vase at a thrift store for $3. I originally listed it for $30. A kind eBayer messaged me and told me who the artist is based on the maker's mark. You gotta love it when other people help you out, right? Um, after doing research on the artist, I raised the price to $155. I took a best offer of $135, and I'm really happy. Um, Clary Lillian, I think it is. It's um, really small, but you should be able to see it right here. And it is a pottery slab base green with etched flowers, and it's got the actual um, maker's mark on it. So that will help the value. This one comes from Flippin' It Good, and he has an amazing YouTube channel. He does a lot of retail arbitrage, unbelievable finds, but he also finds a lot of vintage stuff. So check him out here at Flippin' It Good. And he found this at a yard sale for $4. They had seven with box, child, and only one twin. I bought them all. This sold for $225 plus shipping on Poshmark, and the box was damaged. So I've never seen twins. How cute is that? And he also sold um, these boots. Uh, so very quickly, I bought a pallet of clothing and shoes. It came up to, um, I think it was like eight to $10 an item, uh, depending on which pallet it was. Cause I just did a featured members video with him in it. And some of them were eight to $9. This one, he says $10. Took an offer of $360 plus shipping. Marcy Bean, women's size seven, turquoise, antique saddle, big bass, cowboy boots. Uh, picked up at a garage sale yesterday with six other items for a whopping $2. Um, so 29 cents into each item. Sold in one hour for $35 on Mercari with some dings to the finish. So it is a Starbucks mug with some issues. Starbucks mugs, definitely look them up. Some of them go for big bucks. Um, all right, this one comes from Mom, Mom's Nose Treasures. Bought a pink plastic container box of LOL surprise dolls at a swap meet for $10. Some of these dolls are graded rares and ultra rares, etc. It was too overwhelming for me to figure it out, and I'm really... And I really am too disorganized to try and sell individually and figure out the, which outfit goes with which doll. I totally get this. I lot them up as well. And what she means by rares and ultra rares is um, they're like those blind bags. You never know which one you're going to get. And some of them are harder to find. So that's what she means. And you can sell those individually for more money. Sold it, uh, sold in auction with starting bid of $29.99. I upped the starting bid from $9.99 because after five days, I had 14 watchers and zero bids. 
huge lot, um, 35 dolls and pets, ended up selling for $48 plus shipping is also from Mom's Nose Treasures, and this one is super cute. Christian Thrift Store, 25% off sale on a Wednesday. I purchased this for $2.99, sold on Mercari, took a couple months, and had lowered the price a few times to Likers. Buyer bought it at listed price, which was very nice. So it's a vintage Napco wear. Um, I think it's a planter. It's hard to tell here, but I'll pop up the picture. Uh, sold for $37. I bought this antique apothecary medicine cabinet at an estate garage sale for $25. Oh my goodness, you guys. <gasps> Sold March 4th for best offer of $500. How fantastic is that? Wow. Wow, wow. Early, uh, rare 1900s. That is amazing. Don't overlook the bathroom at estate sales. If you guys have not seen my Bolo bathroom, bathroom Bolo's category video, I've got two or three of them now. Fantastic items to look for that you can find in the bathroom. Uh, picked up these boxes of Breathe Right nasal strips. <laughs> they are new sealed, listed them on eBay for $49.99. And two days later, Took an offer of $42 plus shipping. That's awesome. Purchased this mitt for $2.50 on 50% off day at my local thrift store. Listed it for $45. Sold in two days for a best offer of $40 plus shipping. Uh, Mizuno, I think is how you pronounce the brand. Okay. Uh, paid $2 at an estate sale. And sold for $35 plus shipping. And, and it's a 1980s Imperial sticker album. So it's mostly empty. So really you're paying for the album and it sold for $35. I feel like I had this when I was a kid. I think I did or something similar. I used to love sticker books when I was a kid. Uh, the money that some stickers go through, go for. Um, I have a Bolo category video on stickers to be on the lookout for unbelievable unbelievable what people will pay for them okay i paid five dollars for it at a mom and pop thrift store it's a vintage cotton hand quilted scalloped edge double wedding ring quilt so these quilts have patterns and the different patterns um some are more sought after than others so you definitely want to figure out what the pattern is uh, I don't know if Google Lens can help you with that, but the Fi resellers, they sell tons of quilts and they talk about it over on their channel. So definitely check them out. Um, but this quilt sold for $149.99 plus shipping. And yeah, they paid five bucks for it. That's amazing. Uh, a lot of the estate sale companies know that these are uh, big money. Ooh. Oh, no. I was like excited I got an offer, but it's not a good offer, so... All right, paid 25 cents at an estate sale, digging through bins and bins of clothes in a room full. I found eight new tags, vintage ladies panties. Uh, vintage panties can go for big money, you guys, definitely. Paid a quarter a piece for them. These sold in minutes after listing, sold a different pair later in the day for $19.99 plus shipping. Great bolo, totally worth the awkwardness of digging through those totes for these. Um, these are Olga, the brand Olga, O-L-G-A, um, new with tags, sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Some of these you want to do an auction on, but start your auction high. So if this were me and I had looked up comps on this and saw that it was at $49.99 high sale, I probably would have tried an auction because the worst case is it doesn't sell and then you relist it at a buy it now. But some of the vintage panties can go really high if they're auctioned. Now, I do have a video on vintage panties. Certain ones go for more, and there's certain things that you need to look for. And I talk about those things in that video. So that might be a good one for you to go and check out if you're looking to get into vintage lingerie. I got all of these free at a curbside pickup. I almost tossed them again because the shaker top was broken. But parted out was a term I had just learned. It took about eight months to sell, but they didn't take up much space. 
So it is a Tupperware replacement. Um, it's the wheel disc only for the shaker mix. So um, she's got three separate, uh, you can see it here, three separate listings and all bread and butter, but it all adds up. And this is the same gal. This came from the same curbside pickup, took a best offer of 20 plus shipping, 100% profit. I was doing a sale, getting rid of stale inventory. So they are pro pin racket balls, seven cans of two balls. So what, what's nice about this is they're free. So when you're driving down the road and you see people's trash on the side of the road, look it up. You might have a, uh, sorry, these are jeans, uh, a bread and butter or possibly a big money bolo on your hands. All right, this one comes from 1987 Ventures, Tracy. She has a YouTube channel. This is what it looks like. She is a Bolo Buddies member. So if I shout out a YouTube channel and I say they're a Bolo Buddies member, that means that they have joined my YouTube channel, this channel, for perks. And that just gets them shout outs and videos like this. And it gets them in a featured members video once a month. So if you're interested in memberships, if you join at level two, you get the shout outs. There's a join button down below. There is also a link in the description if you don't see that button. All right, my channel is completely free. This is for perks. This is for people who are trying to grow their channels or want to get exposure with their eBay stores, stuff like that. All right, she bought this for $2 at a thrift store. I didn't know what it was, but my spidey senses were tingling. Turns out I was right. Listed it high a few months ago, got an offer for 90. Um, Wait, got an offer from this buyer for 90 and didn't answer right away. An hour later, she made another offer for 100 and I took it. It is an antique uh, Vilroy and Bach. Uh, it's a mug. So very, very cool. A friend gave me two of these free. She had got them as a free gift from a casino. Italian made duvet cover. Had it in an auction with $57 as first bid. Got an offer within a day or two of 60 they go for more, but I took offer since I didn't feel like waiting and I have one more to list. Plus made some money in shipping by using a priority flat rate, um, a priority rate A box. That's a regional mailbox. Uh, dollar or paid $2.99 to promote the auction. So let me know in the comments, do you guys use that feature where you promote your auctions? I have not done that. My husband did it once and I thought he was crazy, but she's doing it. So maybe it's a good idea. Let me know in the comments um, how you guys feel about that. I do promoted listings, but I have not promoted any auctions. $2.99, $2.99. I'm like, ah, that's a lot of money. Um, yeah. Oh, if you want to learn about the regional boxes, Rachel Strickland, um, YouTube channel Rachel Strickland has an awesome video that teaches you about that. I have not ever used them because I didn't know how to use them. And then I watched her video and it simplified things so much that I now use them. So check that out. This is the duvet cover right here that sold for $60. Okay. I got this at my honey hole with a bunch of things, $15 total. So probably $3 for this water flosser. It came without the box, but everything sealed within a pouch. I decided, decided to part it out and sell each item as replacements. This sold within two weeks of listing and already paid for my trip that day. So again, parting it out. Um, it's a water pick water flosser and it sold for $21.78 plus shipping. Uh, this one comes from, I believe it's eBay store, Leo's Treasures. I'll pop it up here if I've got the name wrong. Um, I purchased these pencils at an estate sale. They were in a Ziploc bag with some Post-it notes. And I think Post-it is a, you can get a Vero for that. Um, because I think Post-it is trademarked. So you have to use like sticky notes. If you ever sell Post-it notes, just know that. If it's Post-it brand, I think you're fine but you can't call like other sticky notes post-its. I think that's how it works. Anyway, I just released another video. I have three of them out now of items not to buy, Vero items. Uh, people have been suspended for these items or they have um, had them taken down from their eBay store. And these were posted by 
members in this group, I invited them to share their items that have gotten them pretty much in trouble on eBay. And I created videos and I will tell you, I learned about so many things. Um, I can't remember if post-it notes was on there or if that was just one that was put in the comments of the video, which um, I think I'm going to do some more videos on this because I have wow, I've learned a lot, a lot of stuff I didn't know. And really learning from other resellers is the best way to figure out what not to list and what to list. So um, anyway, back to the entire bag was $2. So cost of these pencils was probably about 40 cents. They sold for $39.16 plus shipping. Definitely look up pencils. This one comes from Mom's Nose Treasures. Paid 25 cents at any antique mall shop, sold it in about seven months for best offer of $24.99 plus $8.70 shipping. Originally had it listed for $39.99. He sent offer for $20 and I countered at $24.99. Um, 1980s Muppet Babies stickers. Um, these are made by Hallmark. Super cute. It's just a sticker sheet. It's crazy. All right bought a box of vintage 60s and 70s G.I. Joe accessories at an antique mall show for 70, I'm sorry, for $30. So I have $4 into these pictured items and seven other lots of stuff out of the same box, either sold or listed in the same price range. Gross on everything will be around $280. Main selling point for this lot is the goggles and the unbroken strap. So this one comes from a member of my Facebook group. I won't mention his name in case he wants to remain anonymous, but he is a, um, I believe he's a collector and I think he has a store, storefront, and then he sells on eBay. But he knows a lot about vintage toys and he's always chiming in and the posts in my Facebook group and helping people out. So $38, it looks like this sold and free shipping. But what he's saying is the accessories are what upped the price for this. This one just sold, paid a dollar each at a garage sale for three of these tops from 1988, just because they were new in package and vintage. This is the last of three to sell. It's a whizzer and it sold for 50 cents, or not 50 cents, $50. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. All right, this one comes from Mom's Nose Treasures, paid 12 on offer up. So she's sourcing on offer up. So it is, you can source on other platforms. There was one gal that bought something on Mercari for like, I don't know, 70 some dollars and sold it for hundreds on eBay. It was crazy. It was in one of my videos. Anyway, she paid 12 on offer up, sold in two weeks, had it listed for 95 and took a best offer of 70. Vintage Lisa Frank. This is a, um, it's a three ring binder. So vintage Lisa Frank can be an amazing bolo. Definitely be on the lookout. Make sure you're not getting a reproduction though. It used to be, you could tell they were vintage if they had a capital L and a capital F, but now they're coming back with the capital L and the capital F. So it's a little harder to know. So be careful. All right, this one comes from Jack's Treasures, another YouTube channel you should definitely check out, Bolo Buddies member. And she says, this is a very specific Spider-Man figure. I thought it would be normal, $3, throw it in their booth. They have like a booth at a flea market. Um, and, you know, they do storage units. So when they get things that are not big money, they'll just put them in the booth. So she looked it up. Um, has pennies in it because it came in a storage unit and it sold for $105 really quick. So that is awesome. And this is what you need to be on the lookout for. All right, you guys, I think that was 25 Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. My name is Courtney if you're new here. I don't think I told you that. Also known as Bolo Buddies, my channel is all about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high, except for the items that you don't want to be on the lookout for. I've got a handful of videos of those, hopefully more to come because I think they're super educational and I think we need to know which items that we should not be listing on eBay, as well as the things that do sell well. Thank you so much for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching.
I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started.